Hello everyone, this video is in response to a few users who've uh, inquired about a way to control the transparency or colors of individual characters and to kind of animate that. Now in some cases they're looking to do like a, a reveal of text or in other cases a picture a karaoke machine where you're trying to highlight each character as the person sings or maybe it's a reading application or something of that nature but obviously being able to control uh, the colors of individual characters and animating that would be kind of cool. So there's different ways you could do that with Text Mesh Pro. One of the ways that most users think of first is as you know with Text Mesh Pro we have uh, uh, rich tags so you can basically use the markup tags to uh, add colors and control transparency and all that but as you can imagine uh, if you're going to do that on the individual character basis and try to animate that you're going to be looking at you know a lot of string operations and whenever a user brings that up I sort of start to cringe and I start thinking about the garbage collector becoming your best friend and sending you like you know a Christmas gift because you're generating so much garbage so obviously you know I'm not recommending it you do it that way it certainly could work but uh, not really efficient so a different way is in text mesh pro I'm gonna unpause this and let it run so in text mesh pro there's a class called text info and once the object the text object has been generated this text info gets populated and it basically has information about the text object including uh, character info which is information about each individual characters it has information about each line each word and ultimately also contains information about the mesh so by using the character character info you can figure out what uh, vertex are used for each like what the index of the vertex for each uh, mesh or quads are and from there you can go in and actually change the vertex colors so what we're looking at here is a simple script which basically goes through each characters and changes the vertex colors one at a time it's very efficient because all we're doing is changing vertex colors we're never regenerating the whole mesh or anything we're not re-uploading it anymore we're just manipulating that and as a matter of fact I could actually select the object and right now whenever I'm going to change the object it's going to cause a regen and then substitute back to the white vertex color and I could fix that so that behavior doesn't happen but as I move it will reset to white but all I'm trying to do right now is show you that while the script is running meaning our word wrapping is still fully operational as a matter of fact if I zoom in to my text I could go in and change for example our outline or throw in um, using underlay go in here add the offset for the underlay go back here add some soft shadow and there we go meaning this is all running live I can go back here and change justification to make it centered and so on and so forth so this is actually quite efficient uh, in terms of how is it done I, I kinda told you guys it's a script so let me pause this thing and go back to uh, Visual Studio so what I've got is a, a simple game object that has nothing on it besides um, well let me stop this it's got the script attached to it and this script is pretty straightforward in awake we add a text mesh pro object to it uh, from there we set our text, we enable the word wrapping, we get a reference to the text container so we can give it a width and we basically force the mesh update uh, instead of having to wait later uh, we force it to populate the text info class so we can pick the information out of it and basically we have a simple coroutine routine uh, which starts to animate the vertex colors and uh, by the way whatever technique I'm using instead of messing with the vertex colors you could also modify the vertex positions to create effects like jitter or make the characters bounce on screen or things of that nature because in the end it's the same process pretty much we're just modifying pieces of the mesh and then here in the case of vertex color we have our little coroutine which uh, sets a color we basically go here and fetch the vertex index for each individual character and then we replace the four vertex colors now just for fun I could actually uh, come here and instead of modifying all four vertex colors with the same colors I could go back here and change use the gradient uh, color scale or color gradient and here you can see that we're now actually adding multiple colors per characters so that's basically it for this uh, little video it's just a, a little script that I wrote if anybody of you or any of you are interested in it I can certainly put it on the text mesh pro user form and that's it so uh, thank you for watching should you have any comments or feedback feel free to post thank you